Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will discuss the full sectional front view and top view of this object. Full section means this object will be sectioned through this path. That will be the full section. Right, 50% of the object will be removed. So let's read the dimensions. So from here to here, the total length of the object is 100. This side height is 40. This one is 25, means remaining thickness is 15 mm here. So out of 100, this is 15. This dimension is 15. This one is 70, means this dimension will be 1500 minus this 15 minus 70, so remaining is 15. In the side view, this is 50. Height is 25 on this side. This dimension is given uh, 15. This is 8 mm this side. And similarly, 8 on this side. So total dimension is 50. Minus 8. Minus 8. So can you calculate this dimension? Yes, 50. Minus 8, 42. Minus 8. Means this dimension will be 34. 34 mm this dimension 50 minus 16 now out of let's do read the other dimensions at the slant distance of 12 mm this rectangular hole is there which is having length 40 this dimension is 20 so out of 34 this dimension is 20 so remaining is 14 means 7 mm this side and 7 mm this side it means this dimension is misprint because both the sides it looks same so this will be 8 this will be 7 and this will be also 7 because total is 34 do you understand this this is 50 minus 8 this side 8 this side so remaining is 34 out of 34 this is 20 so remaining is 14 means 7 this side and 7 this side right so we have to rectify this this is 7 basically one more option is there you can if it is given 8 you can follow this 8 but this will become 6 but here in the drawing both looks, looks equal so we will take 7 7 both sides let's draw the sectional front view of this object a very simple trick is there very first you have to draw the outline of the object so we'll start it from here this is 40 enter this is 100 enter this is 25 enter this one is 15 enter now slant surface is there let's draw this eight this line first this is 15 enter and again 15 enter so this one is the slant surface this is the outline of the object because inside there will be no edge this is simply outline of the object now second step is to identify the cavity before that you can verify the dimensions 100 40 15 15 25 and 15 here the angle is not required length is not required for this inclined surface now the question is if you will section this object to the center above this cutting plane where is the cavity so about this cutting plane this one is the cavity right so at the distance of 12 mm here we can do one thing let's draw the line place your cursor here to define the direction type 12 enter right now type 40 enter in same direction now you will get the lines here this is 12 mm we'll, you can check this 
this is 12, this is 14, right? You can just uh, repeat this video, this few seconds, you see this. In this direction, we have prepared 12 and then 14. And lastly, you can join this line. Now, here is the cavity. So here you have to draw the vertical line. We'll assume that this, the depth of the hole is throughout. Now this is the cavity. So third step for the sectioning is to draw the hatch. So this is the cavity. Left side and right side remaining area is solid part. Go to this hatch option. After hatch option, select this ANS131 and click in the area where you want the hatch. Now go to this area and click here. Simply click here. Press escape. See if you have any doubt in the AutoCAD basic commands, just go through the first three videos which I have uploaded in AutoCAD playlist. You can go through the first three videos. Now let's draw the top view of the object. From here you have to take the projection. In the top view, first dimension will be 50. Enter. From here you can take the reference. Without any click, place your cursor here. Just place your cursor for one second and take the projection. 100. This one should be 50. Here we can do one more thing. We can take the offset to draw this area. This one. In top view, first we'll draw this part. So let's take the offset. Offset value is 15. Enter. Now, here we want a line of 8 mm. So, here was the point of 15 mm. Here, if you are not getting this point, so you can do one thing select this line, click this point, type minus 15, enter. Here also you can do the same thing or from here also we can draw this side 8 enter now 15 enter now 20 sorry 34 34 enter this is 15 enter this is 8 and at last you can extend this line. So you can check the dimensions here. This is 50, 30, 15, this is 8 this side, 8 this side, 70, 15, all the dimensions are correct. Now let's draw this boundary. now in the top view we will draw this uh, this rectangular hole so from here you can take the projection you here also you can take the projection here is the rectangular hole but here you have to leave the margin of 7 mm both sides as per discussion, this is given 8. You can take 8 mm also, but if here you are taking 8, here you have to take 6. Right? So here both looks equal. So we'll assume that this is a misprint. So we'll subtract 6 mm both sides.
five minus six enter sorry minus seven minus seven enter here minus seven enter here also minus seven minus seven enter so this one is the top view of the rectangular hole So this is the top view of the object here in the top view only one thing is missing that is cutting plane line which is chain line at the thick at the end here also you can draw in the annotate select line one line two so basically the cutting plane line is the thick at the end so you can convert this into a thick line also enter you can convert it into more thickness forty and here you have to select this option display line weight so if you are not getting these option please watch the first three basic videos of AutoCAD so this is the cutting plane line from here the observer would know that object is getting sectioned through this part and after sectioning this object this will be the front view of the object still if you have any doubt or any question please post your comments and subscribe to the channel thank you so much